y'all, I'm Kay and I'm Trish. Welcome to our channel, Crafting Cousins. If you're new here, I hope you will subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe below. If you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. Today is Saturday, which means it's time for Craft Chat. So now might be a good time to pause that video, grab a cup of coffee and let's chat. which means it's time for craft chat again. Hey, Kay. Hey, Molly. Hey, Trish. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you so much. My eyes finally in the healing stage. So at the very least, we can cover anything that's left. I thank <laughs> every one of you for the well wishes and the prayers. That just means everything to me. And I am so happy to be back more to normal anyway this week. <laughs> yes. So for today's show... Kate and I thought that we would show you guys the cutting tools that we use while we're crafting. I know Christmas is coming up and you probably have a wish list or a gift list and we wanted to be able to show you what we use so if you want to get something you can add it to your list in time to hopefully be able to get it. Now all of these tools we're going to show are very easy for beginners to use or even people who have issues with strength. I don't have an elbow in my right arm, so I have to use things that I can handle because I am right-handed. So it has to be lightweight or something that I can just pull down, something easy to use. Mm -hmm. Kate also has bone issues, so she has to make sure that anything she uses is lightweight and easy to use as well. So sure. everything I'm going to show you today is very very easy for anybody from the beginner crafter all the way up to the experienced crafter and most of it is very cheap everything we're going to show you today is under a hundred dollars mm -hmm. one of them is right at a hundred dollars but the rest of them are well below a hundred dollars yes so hopefully you can get one for yourself and before we do that, though, we're going to take care of a little housekeeping and talk about our schedule for the new year because we want you to be prepared and not uh, come on at a different day and miss us. So we want you to know what we're looking at for 2021. We decided to change things up just a little bit. We want to make sure we keep things fresh for you guys, keep you interested and wanting to come back. And in order to do that and still make the YouTube algorithms happy, <laughs> we had to change things around just a little bit. Now, of course, we are still going to be releasing new craft videos every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Every mm -hmm. week, you're going to find those there. We are not changing that. Kay normally does Monday. I normally do Wednesday. But y'all know there's lots of times that we mix it up and do it together just because we like working together so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, on Saturdays, there's going to be a little bit of a change. And again, this goes back to that YouTube algorithm. We have to make sure that we give things time in between videos to breathe. So we're going to change up that Saturday just a tad. For the coming year, we, for every first and third Saturday of the month, we are going to still release Craft Chat. But we will only release it on that first and third Saturday. It's going to still be at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And we hope to have lots of new things that you're going to be interested in seeing. So we hope that if you are not a regular viewer of Craft Chat, then it'll make you want to come on and spend some time with us. Now, the thing that's going to be really different for us in the coming year is every second and fourth Friday of the month, mm -hmm. we are going to have bonus videos that will be challenges, collabs, all those fun things that we like to do with other channels that helps you guys see other channels that are out there. Maybe find someone else that you haven't seen before and show you something new and different. We love being able to participate in these kind of things with our friends that we've made through the YouTube world. And we hope that you'll be able to tune in with us on those two days and watch those as well. 
Now we do realize that there's a few times a month or a few times a year, I should say, that there's actually (laughs) five Saturdays in a month. And on those months where there's five Saturdays, we're going to have something special planned for you that last Saturdays, just so Mm -hmm. we can keep you hanging out with us. We want to make sure that you don't lose interest in us. (laughs) Now, speaking of that, there's another little thing that we would like to invite you all to do with us. And this is going to be something new for the new year. We probably won't do it every month, but Mm -hmm. a few times during the year, we're going to be doing a live craft with me. This is going to be on Saturday when we do our craft chat. And our first one is actually going to be Saturday, January the 2nd at 11 Mm -hmm. p.m. We will release sometime during that week. We will release the supply list that you're going to need to be able to craft with us. And we'll do it early. We want to make sure that you have plenty of time to gather up what you need because we want you to come and craft with us. Mm -hmm. Kay and I will be making the same item and we're going to show you how when two people make the same item, it can look just slightly different. It don't always have to be exactly the same. And we'll Mm -hmm. also have the opportunity to do a little bit of chatting with you like we did in our live chat. We had so much fun with that. And so many of you have asked us to do it again that we thought it would be fun to do that a few times a year. So now we're going to take a look at all the cutting machines that Kay and I use. Kay, you want to start us off? I sure do. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time for Molly being here. That's my little Maltese, and if I don't let her in, she'll start barking. So I just keep her happy by holding her most of the time when we do craft chat. The first one I'm going to show you is the one I've gotten a lot of questions on on my video. Let me move it out. These are called miter shears, and there's several different ones that you can buy on Amazon. As a matter of fact, I bought one pair, and I sent it back. And that was the first one you ever saw me use on uh, my videos, but it just didn't cut that well it was really hard to use this one's still not what i would say an excellent tool it's pretty good Uh, it has a blade and it comes with two replacement ones this part up here is your blade you have your plate here and you can adjust this to make different cuts like a um a different degree of cut like a 90 degree cut a 45 degree angle those kind of things or just a straight cut but If you're like me and Trish told you I have some bone issues, I have psoriatic arthritis and I have a lot of issues, mostly with my left arm, which is weird. Um, And using it a lot of times, even with these tongue depressors or craft sticks, it takes a lot of muscle for me to use it. Let me try it. (laughs) Today's not a good day. I, that's just the way it is sometimes. It's really difficult. But I see other people use them really well. There it went. And when I use them, I have to use both hands and they kind of shoot all over the room. But this was the first one I bought to do simple miter cuts using craft sticks. So it cuts pretty well, but it does take some muscle and that's almost a little out of my range. Yeah, I bought a set of those too. And Honestly, with me not having that torque in my arm, I don't have that Mm -hmm. elbow, I couldn't get it to cut through. I could very simple popsicle sticks, but I can do that with scissors. So I sent back. Um, I've seen a lot of people use them and they look so easy when they they pop them, but they must have more strength in their arms than I do. I just couldn't use them and it wasn't worth it to me to keep them. No, and if I'm standing now, I can get a lot more movement, but when I'm holding Molly, of course, I can't do that. But if I'm standing, it doesn't take me, honestly, quite that much strength to do it, but it isn't easy. I'm not going to lie to you guys at all. If you have any bone issues or muscle issues, this may not be the cutter for you. It's a cool cutter, but it's not for everybody. Do you remember about how much it was? This one was about $30 because the first one I bought was $15 and this one was just under $30 because this one, of course, has the real blades here and two replacements. The other one did not have that. Okay. Yeah, that that was not worth it to me. And that, no, and probably not to me either, but it was the first cutting tool I got. And so I kept it because it was better than nothing. 
Well, that's true. And for a lot of people, it's great. I mean, I see yes. other practices using it and it works perfectly for them. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely not something to just throw away, but no. you mm -hmm. need to take those things into consideration that it can be a little more difficult to use. Yes. Every tool kind of comes with its pluses and minuses, I think. Even the ones we're looking at on our table. Amen. That is so true. <laughs> Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you guys is my little miter box and saw. Actually, this is my husband's. <laughs> I kind of cough and skated it from him, but a lot of the crafters use these as well. And this is a great tool. Now, it is a little, a little plastic box, and it comes with this little saw. You can mm -hmm. see it is a hand saw, so you're going to have to put a little bit of work behind it. It's not automatic, but... This little box will also do miter cuts. You see that it's got mm -hmm. the angle cuts in it and mm -hmm. you can do straight across. This works well for dowels. It works well for the paint sticks, especially the thicker ones. You know, it. you can use it for popsicle sticks, but you're better off using scissors because it's hard to hold those down and use it this is. because you really just put your piece of wood in there, you hold it down and then this slides in to wherever if you're cutting at an angle it goes this way and you just saw it and mm -hmm. for most of the items that we use for crafting this is sufficient this yes. works perfectly i have used it for tons of projects so it is it is a perfect thing and again i did not buy this one my husband already had it but I know that you can get them at like Lowe's and Home Depot and they're less than $30. I want to think that they're actually less than $25. But oh, wow. yeah, it, it's a great thing to use. And, you know, you can use it on those thicker uh, materials too. You can, you can yes. use it on two by four. It takes a little bit of work, but it, it does. Can come through in just a matter of a couple of minutes. I have used it on a two by four. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's a it's a great little tool to have, and mm -hmm. you can bring it in the house, and your husband doesn't necessarily know it because it doesn't make all that noise while you're cutting. True, I yeah. used one um, when I was doing that tree box for mm -hmm. for our farmhouse tree. I actually started out using my husband's miter saw like that, and for me, it takes a lot of effort. After a while, I get really tired using it, but I've done it, and I actually used it when I cut the head off that palm model for the snowman, too. I just yeah. took that, I took it out of the thing, and I used it to saw the top off. It's great for stuff like that, but you are right now. If you're doing a lot, it gets tiring, especially at my age. I mean, you know, I, I get tired easier. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. If I'm just doing one or two things, it's great. But if I've got a lot to cut, it's not my first go-to. <laughs> no, no, mine either. I've used it on a couple of projects, but it wasn't my first go-to. And the next saw that we're going to look at is one that Trish turned me on to. As a matter of fact, she got it for me for my birthday, which is in a few days. But I got it early because I really needed it. And that's this mighty might saw i'm it's trying to get it on camera for you and it is really cool it came from harbor freight it has a little um what do you call this here a little holder thing you can turn and you can hold different pieces of wood in there and like dowels or you can do paint sticks but you have to be really careful because of the depth of the blade and it might back up on you a little bit but trisha's done it um, but it'll hold your whatever you're cutting here and then you bring this down you gotta push the release but you'll bring it down and cut your items this is a neat little tool and they're around thirty dollars or so aren't they trish it's 36 dollars and change but harbor freight um has coupons 20 percent off and i, I need the coupon for mine and k's and so it was thirty dollars this is what the box looks like if you guys need to buy one, um, it's a it's a neat little saw. I love it. it. It's got a two inch blade on it. It and does great for cutting those jenga blocks, or excuse me, the tumbling yes. tower blocks. Yes, they do work. That little clamp, once you screw it in, it'll hold that jenga block there, and when you bring it down, it'll cut through. Now, my experience with this, and Kay, you can tell them if it's yours too. 
is you know it was a thirty dollar saw it doesn't yeah. have the strongest motor so mm -hmm. you have to have a light touch when you bring it down because mm -hmm. if you bring it down hard like you would a regular chop saw then mm -hmm. it's going to bog down but if you'll mm -hmm. bring it down lightly it'll slice right through those little tumbling tower blocks dowels all those things is great now i right. did learn if you're going to be using the one gallon paint stirrer sticks you can completely unscrew that clamp and take it out and that that, that stick will then lay down in there and you can oh, cut cool. it but for the five gallon yeah not so much you have to <laughs> hold it the top of it and it will kick back and that's dangerous you don't need to do yeah. that there's a reason why that section's in there so I wouldn't use it for the five gallon ones, but it's perfect for the one gallon, for dowels, for tumbling tower blocks, mm -hmm. anything like that. And I keep it inside on my table, on my work table, because it does yeah. make dust, but I can just vacuum that right up. Yeah, I do too. And um, most of them are kept back here on my other work table. But when I'm on camera, of course, I pull them over to my main table here and work with them. And then I, I just clean the sawdust stuff in between. But I love this little tool. It is wonderful. My husband was kind of jealous of it. But then, of course, he gave me the safety lecture that he always gives me about tools. <laughs> oh, and they do sell replacement blades for it. You get three in a pack for $9.99. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Mm -mm. Especially if you have issues like we have with being able to clamp things mm -hmm. down. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I love being able to clamp something in there. Now, my next tool, I bought it about three years ago, I guess. Y'all know I love working with wood. That is, I just love it. Now, I am not a wood craftsman by any means. There is so much I need to learn. But I love doing the rustic stuff with wood. And my little jigsaw has been wonderful for that. I paid about, I think it was $24.95 for this little jigsaw. Mm -hmm. I got it at Lowe's. It is a Black & Decker, so it's a great brand. Yeah. And this thing is so lightweight, I can use it and cut, and I don't have any problems with it. My sister actually uses it to cut out the shapes in wood. She, she, she cuts does. all different kinds of shapes in it. I haven't tried that. I haven't been brave enough yet. But now, <laughs> Kate and I did use this back in the summer when we made the cornhole game. And we did. both of us used it. We cut a hole out of the wood and we, we used it to cut off wood. So it's very easy to use. It's very lightweight and it's perfect for, you know, some of your bigger projects. Like any, any two by fours, it'll cut those real easily. It cuts plywood, all those kind of things can't beat a jigsaw i love no. that little they're very versatile there's so much you can do with them and my final tool for the day is this four inch table saw that i got at harbor freight i have to give trish the credit for this one too she saw it first and then i ran down there and bought it first because i had a project that i really really needed it for again it was that tree box thing i did but it is a cool little tool. I have actually used it. You may have seen it when I was doing the tree box on camera. But it has a guard here that goes over your blade. Your blade comes up, just like those giant table saws. It has the little pass through. You put your wood on this side. And then and I'm showing you from the opposite side, but I would be cutting from that side. And then you pull it across slowly. And it chops those five gallon paint stirs like they're nothing. I finally went and got one. I kept putting it off because um, through the Black Friday thing, mm -hmm. they didn't have their 20% off coupon and I wasn't willing to pay full price, even though it's only $37. Full yeah. price is only $37. But they did just recently put out another 20% off coupon. That's so what I, I did. did. Yeah, and it's only what like thirty-two dollars then, so it's not. I think it was thirty-three, and then tax. Maybe that was with tax, the thirty-three dollars. But it was awesome. Yeah, it was totally worth it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. This is my favorite one of all the ones I own now. Well, I haven't opened mine yet, but I am so looking forward to it. I actually have a project next week that I'm going to be using pastor yep. sticks with. So I'm going to be opening mine and using it. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. You'll like it a whole lot. And 
it doesn't seem to bog down but now i haven't cut anything probably thicker than the five gallon paint sticks yet but i'll keep trying um and you can also i forgot you can move the blade up and down you can adjust it so if you have a thick enough piece of wood you could actually run it across and cut a little groove in. you'll have to take the guard off the back probably so you can drop it on down a little farther but it can definitely be done because i mean you're literally just sliding it across the table you'll like it this is a neat little tool well worth the money again way under the 50 dollars even at full price but y'all harper freight puts those coupons out all the time now this is the biggest one um Kay's husband has one of these as he well. does but i bought this one last year when Kay and i started doing craft shows and mm -hmm. i was having cut I make this one little frame thing out of two by fours and I was having to do 30 and 40 cuts at a time and it was just too much. So yeah, I was like, Chris, you need a chop saw. No, yeah, she did. And we call it a chop saw. Technically, it's called a miter saw. But if you go to Lowe's and tell them that you need a chop saw, they'll show it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, because that's what I told them. I said, I need a chop saw. But this is a small one. Of course, they have much bigger ones. This Thank one, you. um, for one cut, you can't go bigger than a two by four. Now you okay. can do a four by four, but you have to do a cut, flip it over and do another cut. So it's a two cut job. But for one okay. cut, a two by four. This is not heavy. It has a handle at the back of it right here. And I can yeah. just pick it up with one hand and carry it. So oh, cool. it's not heavy. Now, of course, it's heavier than the other ones, but I can yeah. move it around easily. It has a um, lock back here. You just push it down, pull your lock out, and it opens up. And you see that the safety thing goes right into place. It moves as you move the blade up and down. So That's cool. it, it is very safe. Now, of course, you still have to be careful with it, and I would not let children use it, but it it does move really easily it also you can unlock it here on the on the side and you can move it around well it's it's not easy to do on camera but you can move it and make those slant cuts those miter cuts so that you can make a nice frame or whatever you can also unlock it back here and you can turn the blade so that you can make a slanted cut wow i, cool. I love this saw I got I it. I haven't been brave enough to try that one yet. When he gets his workshop set up a little better, maybe I'll practice that one. Or when you're up down here again, we'll get it out and play with it a little bit. <laughs> I got mine for 97 And if you look, um, maybe Harbor Freight or something, I'm sure, because Harbor Freight has much better prices than anywhere else. They so, do. We have a lot. Some good prices. You can and they run sales. Yes, they do. Now, keep in mind that all of these um, tools that we're showing you guys are for crafts. You know, we don't use typically really big materials in crafts. We use things like paint sticks and, and um, dowels and, and tumbling tower blocks, those kind of things that need to be cut. But this will cut, you know, even bigger projects because when you're making like pallets or whatever, you can go to Lowe's and you can get a one by three piece of wood and you get like eight foot for a dollar and 23 cent. It's true. Yes. I mean, you can cut that down and you can do so much higher quality projects with that mm -hmm. than you can with, with the dollar um, tree signs and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And it's cheaper in the long run because it um, is. an eight foot piece of one by three. I mean, I was making what, Kay, like three pallets out of one piece. Yeah, that's true. You can't beat that. And mm -hmm. and there's just something about looking at it and knowing you made it too. Now, <laughs> I will say part of me wishes I would have gotten the um, chop saw that is just a little bit bigger. And it's about $150. Mm -hmm. But... The difference in it is that it will move forward and pull back yeah. and you can do four by fours, one by six, two by six. You can do those yeah. big projects because it moves forward and pulls back, but it's still a real easy cut. And y'all, my arm, y'all, I told you I don't have an elbow in it, so it gives out real easily. This, I can work on it for hours because literally yeah. you're just pulling it down. I mean, it's nothing. And 
it will cut through that fast. But on that same note now, it, it can cut that hand off that fast too. So you do have to be very careful yeah. with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, even, I'm, even with these smaller tools, I mean, you have to be careful and you have to be cognizant of where you are and pay attention to what you're doing because there's always a safety issue. It's just like if you use something like a hot glue gun, you got to yeah. be careful or you get burned with it, which I have done quite often. You're right. Mm -hmm. Any of these, even these little tool or these little saws that we showed, this little two inch saw mm -hmm. and this little four inch saw, it yeah. looks like a toy. It is not a toy. No. It, toy. it can do <laughs> serious damage. So please make sure you always use safety when you're using it. Yeah. And another oh, you should wear goggles too. You should wear safety goggles when you do it. Um, I usually will at least have on my glasses and I'm not cutting anything very big but I still make sure I got something covering my eyes but I think these are good items if you have any issues at all or if you just want to do your cuts more easily I think they're great things to put on your Christmas list if you're an avid crafter like we are as a matter of fact when you go to Harbor Freight these items are in a special place they are at least in my Harbor Freight they're in what they call their hobby section which yeah. is why I couldn't find it at my store. So when I talked to the gentleman, he was like, well, you're in the wrong section. Those are our hobby tools. So even they know these are not the high torque tools, that these are just for the hobbyists. If you do craft shows or you're thinking about starting craft shows, mm -hmm. then they're definitely worth the investment because they're gonna save your hands and, and your arms a lot of stress. <laughs> yes, they are, <laughs> they do. Well, Kate, I that's all I've got to show today. Did you have anything that you would like to add? Um, no, but we do have a few shout outs that we want to make for our Saturday video, of course. Yep, we started doing shout outs um, a couple of weeks ago and we mm -hmm. have loved being able to do a little bit extra to thank you guys. We love you, we see you, we appreciate you and we are so thankful to have each and every one of you. Kay, you wanna start us off? I do. First of all, I want to say that when you comment on YouTube, that does help us to get more noticed by YouTube. We appreciate that. Every comment counts. It really does. And thank you so much. My first shout out, well, I'm going to move to my sister today. She has been there with us from the very beginning and has been encouraging and saying, you can do this, that you can make it. And I wanted to say, Carol Walker, I love you. And I thank you so much for your support this year from, well, the entire year. Thank you so much. And I will say before I move on to mine, that we all grew up like sisters anyway. We, we, we lived very close to each other growing up. We were always together and the four of us and then their brother, we're more like siblings <laughs> than we are cousins. And so absolutely, Carol's support means everything to us. We appreciate it. And that leads me to my shout out, which is my sister. My sister has been there. She helps us moderate things. She jumps in on all the challenges. She, she's always helping us any way she can. She gives us ideas. She, she's just, Vicki, I thank you so much. My sister is Vicki Sipper, and I love you. I, I, I appreciate you more than I can ever let you know. And it means the world to us how much you have helped Kay and I by sharing our videos and yeah. asking people to come and watch us. And she watches every single one. I know she does <laughs> because she, she comments on most of them. She don't comment as much as she used to, but she comments on most of them. And she helps us in any way she can. Thank you so much, Vicki. Thank you, Vicki. And our third shout out for today and our final one is our adopted cousin that we have. She's over on YouTube. And if you haven't checked her out, make sure you do. And her name is Lori Bly with Lori Bly DIY. Lori, we love you. You are so sweet to us and you comment on almost all of our videos. And I know that you are so busy because as a YouTuber, it's a lot to go and watch other people's YouTube videos. I appreciate that so much. And I can't wait till this pandemic is over and we get to meet in person. I know. she. I just, Lori is just the sweetest, most genuine person ever. And she is 
so super talented. Yes, so, very talented. We love you, Lori. And guys, we love all of y'all. We appreciate y'all. We wanted to take today just to, to really thank our sisters who have been there for us and supported us so much. But of course, every week we're going to be calling out three more people. And we thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And we'll see y'all this week, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you like, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We would love for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Wild Card Wednesdays, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday morning. Bye y'all!